Okay, so we are we're moving along steady and surely. We're about halfway through these girls for the most part. Let's talk about it. And I'm like, come on through, cook. Yeah. I want to put my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for RuPaul's Drag Race. This is season 11. This is episode 6. Like I said, we're moving right along. We're just about getting to the halfway point. And um, we, it hasn't lost any steam or anything. The show's still good. I'm still enjoying each episode as much as the last. So, nothing really big. You know, it is what it is. It's a good season so far. Now, I want to say this. Miss Evie, Miss Evie needs to chill out, honey. You are doing way too much. She was really just, she's kind of feeling herself. And she's kind of coming across real bitchy because she's always telling girls what they should have done or what they need to be doing. It's like, now, Miss Evie, girl, you, you're, you know, come on. Your drag is that. It's odd. It's different. It's something else so i don't know that you're in a position to be trying to tell the other girls what they should be doing and and all this kind of stuff girl you cool but girl you you can back off a little bit honey you can back off some simmer down says anyway then there was a whole little situation where evie and silky was kind of really going at it and evie told silky i'm about to send you packing um I like your aesthetic, Evie, but for some reason, I don't believe that you will be the one that will send Silky packing. I, I just don't. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I don't see that. I don't see that happening. I, I just. I honestly believe if it came down to Evie versus Silky, I don't see. Evie sending Silky home. Now y'all let me know in the in the comments what y'all think about that little situation. Do you think that if it came down to it that Evie could send Silky packing? I, I don't. I really don't. And and I don't know, maybe it's because I've been Team Silky since we even started. But no, I don't see you sending my baby home. I just I don't see that happening. But anyway. And I love them both. I do. I really do genuinely like the both of them. But I don't see that happening. Moving on. So Rue comes in. The mini challenge is the galesthetics. I said, what the hell is... You know, Rue is always making up a word. I said, what the hell is galesthetics, uh, Rue? And I said, I know it's something going to have them sweat, y'all. Then they had this queen come in named Love Connie. Now, I've never heard of her. I don't know her. They say that she's you know, some internet sensation. I gotta look her up. The bitch is hilarious. She's hilarious. She is like a, a drag, well, no. She's like a busted drag version of Richard Simmons. As if that makes sense. Because, like, Richard Simmons is the drag busted version of Richard Simmons. But it's like, she, girl, she... Child, everything's wrong. Like, she's the drag queen, but everything's wrong. Child, her tuck, her makeup, her hair. At... Busted, honey. She busted Richard Simmons' drag. It was a mess. But I think she's hilarious. Um, The whole little routine they went and did, it was like a whole workout routine. Um, And they were doing, like, dance moves. They are like, we want to see your moves. It was hilarious. I know then you know a lot of the mini challenges I'd be like, oh child, get on past it, so let's go. It was really funny. Like I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really funny. I enjoyed it. Um Akaria and Plastique were the winners. Then we go on to the Maxi Challenge. The Maxi Challenge is going to be the International Drag Olympics. I said, oh Lord. Here we go. Here we go, honey. Um 
it was broken down into three areas, fanography, voguing, and shablam. As a child, these bitches is getting ready to break their necks in here, honey. Because if you don't know how to do a proper dip or what the kids... See, I'm from the old ballroom, and that's what that was. It's a, a dip. But, you know, now they call it a shablam, honey. Ain't nothing but a dip, child. But if you you don't know what you're doing, doing a dip, and then literally if you're trying to do a spin into a dip, you could really bust yourself up. You know, I said, child, let's see who gets balled up first, honey. So I was like all in. I said, mm, mm. So they picked their teams. Akira picked Brooklyn, Silky. She picked Evie and Sugar. Plastique picked Raja, Vanji, Nina, and Scarlett was last because everybody knows Scarlett can't dance. So I was like, okay, here we go. So um, Akira's team, they went, and then the choreography was Travis Wall and Adam Rippon. So I was like, oh my God, you know, I love, I love both of them. I really do. I, they're, they're both really funny, but you know, I live for Travis, honey, any old way. But, um, Child, they got down there. A curious team did really, really well with the choreography. Um, they all literally got life off of Silky. Like Adam and Travis, they were cracking up at the fact that Silky was, you know, she wasn't getting it. Some of the moves, it was like, girl, but she was, that bitch was all in. She was all in. She's rolling around on the floor. It was a whole mess, but she was all in. So it was just fu funny. She funny. She just, she is funny. She's TV gold, Addie. Was she not being too over the top? And it was funny. Um, Evie, we know, Evie was having some pain. She talked about a condition that she had with her joints and different things like that earlier on in the season. She spoke about it, and it was really bothering her. Um, I was kind of worried about her. Because she was saying how her bones slip and her joints will um, give her pain. So I was kind of worried about her. And I didn't feel like she was making excuses. She was she was really, really angry with herself. You know what I mean? It was like, no, I mean, it is. You can only do what you can do, Evie. It is what it is. And like she told him, I just need to take it easy today. And then tomorrow I'll be able to do my shit, you know. And then she ended up hurting herself anyway. She ended up uh, spraining her ankle a little bit or whatever. But. I was like, damn it, Evie. But she got it all done. She got it done. Okay, so I was like, all right, cool. Plastique's team, baby, they were doing well with the choreography, but she, poor Scarlett. Child, it was just, it was a struggle with a C, baby. It was a struggle. It was terrible. I was like, oh, poor baby. But again, she was committed to trying to get it done. She couldn't even get the fan to pop the fan, right? I was like, girl, that's a queen thing. Girl, pop the fan, bitch. It, that poor baby was just having a hard time in general. So, um, then we went back into the, the workroom. Vanjie ended up having a moment. And I'm like, Vanjie, come on, what's going on? And she was saying, you know, that um, she was really disappointed in herself because she felt as though she wasn't performing up to her potential. And that she didn't want to let Rue down because Rue brought her back because Rue believes in her. And she said, I just feel like I'm letting Mama Rue down. And I said, this is going to be it. I said, this is going to be it. This, I said, this is the setup. Vanjie get ready to break this shit up. But she even, she cried a little bit. And then I said, come on, girl. That's all, all of that's cool. All that's cool. All that's understandable. But let's, let's go. Let's get it. And I have to say, Whenever they did their um, their performance, I couldn't take my eyes off of Angie. Now, I don't know if it was maybe the fact that she only wanted to have blue hair, but her and Plastique, Plastique had a long, long ponytail. I couldn't take my eyes off of them. But um, Angie, I thought she performed um, the best of a lot of these challenges. She really, you know, it's like she... Her button was pushed, and she was she was making it do what it do with her blue hair, baby. That's all you saw was blue hair all through the little number. I was like, come on, Miss Van, you get it, girl. And I was like, I was like, okay, cool. So, you know, you you doing what you must be doing. It's cool. 
So that was cool. Um, Akira's team was just by far, they were the best. They were the best. And Akira, her paint for this was like, because so, she paints drastic. She's a pageant girl. So she paints pretty drastic. Her paint was soft. And she just looked so pretty to me. Like, because I think she's pretty anyway. But for some reason, throughout that challenge, when they, the lights were hitting her, I, I said, girl, they didn't hit you with a bit of bastard amber, bitch. And she just looked so pretty to me. I was like, okay. And I loved her hair and all of that. And her team did awesome. They did. They really did awesome. Because, you know, I thought a little stuff was corny. You know, they had them, go, had them doing it, you know. Child, you know how this stuff gets. But she just, every time I got a flash of a carry, I was like, wow, she really looks pretty tonight. And she did to me. She looks really, really pretty. Um, So I like that. Like I said, Vanjie stood out amongst the folks on her team. And she looked, um, she was really doing her thing with her blue hair baby. And like I said, Miss Evie ended up slipping and hurt her ankle. That's because of them damn shoes they had them on. Honey, everybody had them little dance heels. I said, girl, that's that little ass heel that made you fall. But um, I tell you, you know, drag queens don't wear them little heels, child. I was like, them little shit shakers, honey, come on. But anyway. Anyway, the runway challenge was all that glitters, that damn Acaria looked like a golden phoenix. Baby, she had this big, it was about this big on the sides. I said, bitch, I want it. It was this blonde RuPaul-esque hair flawless and she had this gown it was gold with feathers and beads it there's a whole mermaid moment and fitting her body like it was spray painted on her she looked like a golden phoenix it was gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then baby miss brooklyn came out and gave you norma desmond down it was all gold she had the turban and the damn ostrich feather boas and she came out walking giving the whole I said oh you better stop that whole crazy stuff said girl I, it was everything I said Miss Brooklyn stop playing honey since you young girls don't know what that's about honey that's a moment all in itself honey I said girl say no more honey it was everything I loved it so those two were like the best for me the rest of them were just okay. They were, you know, cool. More body suits. I said, child, what y'all want to do? And Vanjie, when I looked up at Vanjie had on a body suit, I said, really, Vanjie? Really? And, of course, Michelle said something to her. She's like, I know. I, I, I know, sis. Um, I was like, oh, girl. Um, the winner overall was Akaria. She won her first challenge overall, so she's so excited. And then in the bottom was Raja and Scarlet. Now, Raja, this is the funny part. Raja, you know, she got all teared up. She's still hanging on to that shit from back when Giannis was there. And when Travis told her, you have the most skills in your your toolbox as far as dancing. And I don't feel like you were using them all. You you could have really outdanced these girls. And she said, oh, that just means so much coming from you. Because when the other bitch don't start. I told you in the review before, you were picking up at Giannis. You were doing too much, and it came back on you and bit you in the ass. But she's still trying to act like Giannis was misusing her. I was like, oh, girl, bad. She's about to get on my nerves. But anyway, she was at the bottom. It was her and Scarlett. And the song was Last Dance during the summer. I said, so what are we going to do? Because we already know Scarlett can't dance. So, of course, you're getting ready to to fall all over the floor and do all this. Scarlett had on this pretty lace gown. Honey, they got started, honey. When I tell you I do not agree, I do not agree, I do not agree. They got started. Honey, listen. That damn Miss Scarlett pulled out all the stops. Maybe she went in her bosom and pulled out a pair of scissors, honey, and took her gown and cut it down to the waist and then pulled it off honey and it was a whole bell bottom jumpsuit i said girl get down honey threw the little scissors to the side performed her little heart out and toward the end ended up throwing gold glitter all in there it was she was really entertaining and rue sent scarlet home 
but I do not agree. I do not agree. I do not agree. I do not agree. And, you know, they had asked the question of the, you know, the other team, that whole team, Plastic's whole team was up for elimination. And she asked them all, who do they think should go home? They all said Scarlett, except for Scarlett. So if it goes down to just the lip sync, I believe, because Lip Sync for Your Life is supposed to be able to save you. Sh the way that is actually posed in the show, you could have screwed up the whole challenge or every challenge up to that, and you could kill it during Lip Sync for Your Life and still stay. But that didn't happen because she let Raja have it. Raja didn't even pull out all her little dance stuff because she didn't feel like she needed to. And in my opinion, I think Scarlett slayed her, you know, during the lip sync for your life. But that's that's just me. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. I don't agree with you, Mama Rue. Not tonight. I don't. I believe that Roger should went home, not Scarlett, if we're talking about the actual lip sync for your life. You created it. I didn't, girl. So... It didn't help to save her, and I thought she killed her. But anyway, all right, you guys. I'll catch y'all next week. Later.